OpenAI recently announced the release of GPT-40, which provides the capability for users to experience GPT-4 level of intelligence, get responses both from the current GPT-4 as well as the web, analyze data, create charts from that data, upload files for assistance when it comes to things like summarizing, writing, also provide the ability to access GPTs as well as the GPT store all for free, which is amazing. So in today's video, we'll be checking out the new model while testing some use case scenarios to see if there's still need for us to pay for ChatGPT Plus or just go with the free plan. Coming into ChatGPT, at the very top here, you click on the drop down menu. You're going to find three models. GPT 4.0 is the newest and the most advanced model that was just added. And you will find GPT 4 as well as GPT 3.5. But you'll find all these models if you're using ChatGPT Plus and above. But if you're using the free plan, you're going to find only GPT 3.5 and GPT 4.0. Oh, if you don't have this showing up on your account yet, not to worry. This is still being rolled out because this was released less than 48 hours ago. Before we go ahead to test the use case scenarios of GPT-4.0 and compare it with GPT-4, let's even understand what's the major difference between these two models. According to the article that was released by OpenAI, the GPT-4.0 would definitely be a default model for the free plan which is really awesome but it has a limited number of messages which you can send to the model anytime the model is not available the free tier users will be switched back to the default um gpt which is 3.5 but the good thing is that you have access to all of these which i would mentioned at the beginning of the introduction it also has advanced vision capabilities which would help increase accuracy understanding images you share with gpt 4.0 then in terms of people who are using chat gpt plus and above like me the major difference as you could see here would be basically usage if you are using gpt 4.0 and it caps out you can always go back to use gpt 4 which has a higher of um, usage and limit in terms of the plus users you'll be able to send up to 80 messages every three hours on gpt 4.0 and up to 40 messages every three hours on the gpt which may reduce the limit during peak hours, depending on what it is. The difference between the GPT-4 and GPT-4.0 is the number of messages that you'll be able to send depending on the plan that you belong to. Now that we have a bit of an idea of what those GPTs are, it's now to take it out for a test run. We'll be switching to GPT-4.0 and the first test we'll be doing will be analyzing data i've prepared an excel which has a bit of my youtube analytics i wanted to analyze the data within it and create a bit of graph just to see what it's going to do click on the attach button here and it will take you to your computer and upload the file and once i have uploaded the file but ask it to analyze and tell me the best time to post in a chat format and the type of videos I should create and just hit enter and once you do that it's going to start analyzing the excel that I've attached to it while putting these questions into consideration it has done a bunch of analysis here while it's still trying to create the chat let's just quickly go through what it's saying based off of the data that I've fed it it's telling me that the best time to post my videos it's categorizing it between morning, afternoon, and evening, and also the type of videos that I should create. We say from my data that the time slots between 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. This is the average views, this is the number of subscribers, this is the amount of money that I make. And then if I post between 5 a.m. to about 12 p.m., this is my average views. This is the amount of money I make. And this is the average impression and click to rate. Based off of the insights of what it has done, you could see that it's showing specifically that afternoons between 12 p.m. to 5 time slot shows significant high average views and watch time compared to the morning slots and then it has gone ahead to break down for me the type of videos i should create based off of my views 
and information that I've provided for it already. And now it has gone ahead to ask me, should we, I provide a visual chart for it? And you could see how it has gone ballistic, analyzing the data that I've provided for it, which is really impressive. Hands down for analyzing your data, you should definitely check out 4.0 and it's essentially free. The next thing that we'll be testing it on will be creating text or asking it to write something. In this channel, we normally cover different ways you could make money. And one of those ways would be to create stories that you could animate or create stories for a children's storybook. So we're going to test that. We're going to ask chat gpt that's 4.0 to write an animation video trailer about a young girl called maya and her dog on an adventure to find a missing treasure and let's see what it's going to do this is writing in such a way that is similar to gpt4 and it's putting in the narrator putting in what to cut this is unfamiliar. If you have used ChatGPT for to write scripts or thrillers like this, it's unfamiliar. And one good thing now is here at the very bottom here, you could see there's a button here that says change model. When you click on the drop down, you can easily switch between ChatGPT 4, but you can switch obviously to 3.5 because of um, what we have been doing. If I decide to switch to GPT 4, it automatically switches over and uses G GPT-4 to rewrite and let's see what the difference would be. Just by looking at the difference, you could see that initially it was breaking it down into narrators, the courts, but GPT-4 kind of has a different structure which shows you like opening scenes, the narration, the narrator, and then breaks it down till it gets to the end. It's still writing. In terms of both of them writing stuff, they basically do the same thing. The next one I will be testing out would be access to GPTs and GPT store. When you come to the left hand side here, obviously, if you have GPT 4.0 and you're not a paid customer, you should have what you call GPTs here, where you call explore GPTs. You could just click on it and it opens up a plethora of GPTs that exist. These are the ones that are currently trending. And then you can use these GPTs for specific tasks. Any of the ones you choose, it gives you a bit of meaning to what those GPT does. Um, in one of the videos I did a couple of months ago, we used one of the GPTs here called consistent character to create consistent character. But we we noticed that over time that GPT hasn't produced consistent results. I just wanted to test GPT 4.0 specifically on consistent characters and see how it's going to handle it in comparison to GPT 4. I'll just open a new window and I'm just going to type in here. I like to create a consistent character for case storybook using Dolly. How do I go about it? And then it goes ahead to give me a breakdown, acts for the personality, the age, the gender, the hair. The way it has described this helps Dolly to be able to give you what you are looking for. I've already prepared a specific type of image that I want to create of a particular girl. It will ask you would I like to provide the details of this character? I'll just go ahead and paste that. I want to create a 10 year old young girl character for kids storybook, African American with nicely cut short hair and a beautiful brown eyes wearing a light orange yellow hoodie, a black yoga pants with a white converse high top shoes in Pixar style square size and hit enter. This first image looks really good just as the first glance but it gave two images at the same time what you could do is if you don't like this obviously you could re-roll let's try and re-roll and see if it's going to give us an image that is just a single image we generated this character i'm fine by this what you need to do next is we're going to ask chat gpt to give us the gen id for this specific image because we want to reference the gen id when we are trying to create consistency or this with this image. So I'll just say, what is the gen ID of the image? And hit enter. It's going to provide me with the gen ID. I'm just going to go ahead and say that I want 
ChatGPT to make the character cry while maintaining all the features. Image Gen ID. So I'm going to copy this and impute and go ahead and hit enter. And then we'll wait to see what the result would be. This is pretty good. As you could see, using the previous image, let's just look at this image side by side. This is it in terms of the hair, the eyes, everything is still the same. And you could see from smiling to crying. This is really a pretty good job. You could go ahead to test things like laughing, shouting, dancing, and then see what um, it's going to provide. I've earlier on tested some ones, and this is the image it gave me as the base image. With the Gen ID, I was able to get it to laugh. I was able to get it to cry while walking and laugh even more. You could do this pretty well by switching out the different behavior of the character. What I mean by in terms of laughing, crying, working while maintaining the same Gen ID. And it's going to give you a consistent character. Basically, what is happening with GPT-4 is the same thing that is happening with GPT-4.0. And you could actually get all of these for free next thing that we'll be testing would be access to the web and for us to test access to the web i'm just going to open a new one and i'm just going to paste this and say give me five most recent ai tools for creating shots including their links and we'll hit, hit enter and go ahead and wait for the result and from this result, we have flex clips, we have opus clip. I know about opus clip, I've talked about opus clip on this channel that converts your long form videos to shorts, which is doing really well. And obviously, these are the links to the websites. Let's click on one and be sure that it's the right website. This is the right website. This gets a pass. Obviously, if you want to test this out with GPT 4, you just switch over. And let's see what it's going to give us. If it's going to give us the same set of results or something different. Looking at this, it gave Runway ML, it gave Flicky, Lumen 5. I'm not entirely sure some of these can convert to shots like Opus Clip, but some of them um are ai tools for doing different things for example wrong with ml we know you can use for animations and things like that and then you could see too as well that the links is linking to an article well the previous one was linking directly to the website i would give a pass to um gpt4 or when it comes to assessing the web it seems to be faster and doing a well better job in getting the information that we are looking for the last thing that we'll be testing would be basically if you upload files and you want the gpt to use the files you have uploaded to either summarize or generate similar images things like that then we'll be using the upload features. Let's just go ahead to a new one. I'll download a specific coloring book image and I want it to create like a similar coloring page. And let's see what it's going to do. Let's just make sure we're still in 4.0. And then we go ahead and hit enter. This is the main image. And then we'll wait and see what it's going to generate. Okay, this is what it generated. This looks more coloring page to me than this. We could always go ahead to rerun it or use a specific GPT to create the coloring page instead of accessing Dal E directly. I still think that the prev the original image looks more of a coloring page, but you can always come into GPTs and look for the one. There's a particular GPT here for creating coloring book like this and you could use that to generate um the image in my opinion gpt 4.0 is at par even not better in some scenarios when you compare it with gpt 4 aside the user's length which we talked about earlier i strongly believe that this new model might cast some doubts on paying customers like myself or whether we actually need to pay for a plan or not let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i will see you in the next one